under beautiful Carolina blue skies, welcome to the North Carolina Speedway, also known as The Rock. This one-mile oval's been thrilling fans for over 30 years. With 22 degrees of banking and a tough-on-tire surface, you get fierce competition that gives The Rock its name. Welcome back to the NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 28 of 31. Four races left of the NASCAR Dirt to Daytona. Let's play. I'm here at North Carolina Speedway in Rockingham, North Carolina for the running of the Rockingham 500. Or Rockingham 400. I, yeah, Rockingham 400. Okay, my bad. Uh, last race was at Talladega, and I finished second. Um, had a shot to win, but uh, Mark Martin was just, I guess, faster than me. And... Uh, he won, and uh, I finished second. However, I did gain a lot of points on Ricky Rudd and Sterling Marlin, because Sterling Marlin finished, what, 16th? And I think Ricky Rudd finished 19th. So guess what? I am second in points now, 29 points back from Ricky Rudd. I have a shot to win a championship. However, I got to perform really well in the next four races, and the final four races. This race, starting off well, I start on the pole for this race. So I'm really looking forward to this race, maybe get my 10th win at the NASCAR Dirt to Daytona Let's Play. So let's get this race here at Rockingham, North Carolina, at North Carolina Speedway, underway. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. All clear. Far high. Boy, very tight in turn number three. We were three wide. And man, thank God Ricky Rudd kind of gave me some room going in the three. He was about to come down on me. And uh, could have been a disaster right there. I could have slid up right in the Ricky Rudd. I could have hit that apron and spun out. Could have been a wreck right there, but Ricky Rudd seemed to give me some room afterwards. I did lead the first lap. Those are five bonus points for leading a lap, and that's important for me for this race. Looks like I'm trying to pull away just a little bit. Looks like Ricky Rudd is falling back right now. He's falling back to fifth. Jeff Gordon just got around him. Looks like he's about to drop outside the top five. So is Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart started second. He's dropping back in a hurry. Probably back to 8th or ninth, But I'm trying to pull away right now. I would like to uh, win this race and also lead the most laps too. If I can do that and if Ricky Rudd finishes where he's at right now, which is, uh, he's still falling back. I mean, Ricky Rudd's getting passed from the outside lane. Ricky Rudd's stuck on that outside lane and he's dropping, which is a good thing for me. I gotta tell you one thing. If I somehow win the championship by the uh, by the end of this NASCAR Dirt to Daytona West play, if I win the championship, it's gonna be an incredible comeback because what? I was like, what, about 300 points down? But lately, I've just turned up the heat. It just seemed like, I mean, I got a couple wins in like the first half of the NASCAR did to Daytona Let's Play, but ever since the second half came along, I've just been tearing it up. I mean, had a couple of bad finishes here and there, but uh, still done a very good job of driving this car and performing as I've pulled away. Remember the last time I was here at Rockingham, I qualified, what, fifth or sixth? This time I did better, I qualify on the pole, and now look at that. I finished sixth here last time I was here. So far, so good for me. Two second lead over Matt Kenseth now. 51 lap race around North Carolina Speedway. Seems like I do better in three and four, but one and two, I kind of go up the racetrack just a little bit. Like right there, I went up the racetrack there. Now what I've noticed that in 
one and two, as soon as I get down the third gear, that's when I gas it back up on the throttle. You heard that, right? I gassed it back up on the gas. Sterling Marlin's in the fifth spot. He's third in points. He's also a guy I gotta watch out for. Now, uh, notice ahead of me, I'm seeing some traffic ahead. Ten laps completed here at North Carolina Speedway. I am leading the way. Matt Kent's the second, Ryan Newman third, Mark Martin fourth, and Sterling Marlin rounds out the top five. Hold on, guys, got an itch on the back. Ah, all right, I'm good. So far, so good for me in this race. Damn. Now I'm about to hit some traffic. This is where I really need to be patient and be cautious. Still there. Oh my god, they're going so slow. I have to figure out where the pass is. Clear eye. All clear. Alright, so far so good. Good lord, look at the run I get. Still there, clear high. It's gonna get easy to get around these guys. It will get much harder once I hit the better equipment. Teams. But these custom drivers are easy to pass. All They're clear. Just so slow. Wow, I just got sideways there. Pass them low, passing them high. Still there, clear low. Trying to get around the traffic. down the third gear right there but that corner looked pretty good and Ricky Rudd's back in the top five oh wow still there making these bold moves and I shouldn't have to I shouldn't have to be making these moves Oh, car heads pace. Someone's up in smoke. Someone's blown up. Looks like it's a custom driver, too. So, Ah, is that Ken Schrader, actually? That might have been Ken Schrader. But he's blown up, for sure. Carlo. I don't really have to be making these moves, but I'm doing it anyways. And it's a wide enough racetrack to do it, so... Pull to a three and a half second lead now. Still there. All clear. I want to perform well here at Rockingham because next race is at Phoenix, and that's the only there. time in All this clear. Let's Play I'm, I'm going to Phoenix on the schedule. So I don't know how I'm going to perform at Phoenix because I'm not knowing what to expect. So that's why I want to perform well here. I would like to get a win and would like to increase on my on my chances to win this championship. We'll see. These, uh, Homestead, I'm not sure either about. And then the final race at Atlanta, I finished, what, third there last time? Fourth? Still there. So I have good chances of winning this championship. I just gotta keep hitting the marks and perform well. So far, I'm doing such a great job in this race. Look, five, almost six second lead. I think Matt Kenseth's getting held up by some traffic right now. Ricky Rudd's moved himself up to the fourth spot. All clear. If I get to the halfway point, if I lead until I get to the halfway point, I've led the most laps. That's another five bonus points. So that's like 10 bonus points so far. Plus, if I get the win, it'll be another five. So that'll be 15 bonus points, I think. Stay low. Still there. All clear. And let's say if Ricky Rudd finishes like 
third. I could gain 25 points on him. If I only gain 25 points on him, I can only be four points back from him. It'll still be overall good points day. Runs I get though. And the moves I'm making. Still there. All clear. Just to get around the traffic. Doing a pretty good job getting around the traffic, I will say. There's a spin in turn. And there's a caution. Wrecking turn three. Oh yeah, up here. Oh, slow it down, Jeff. Just get around him. Just get around him, alright. Looks like you involved Jeff Gordon and a custom driver. Base cars out. I decided to hit the brakes because I didn't know which way the cars were going to spin, so I thought I'd just get off the brakes. I have a big lead anyway, so I felt comfortable just getting on the brakes just to get around the wrecked cars. Jeff Gordon was one of them that got involved. And, uh... Yeah. And, uh, who else was it? Yeah, Michael... Hovel. All right, so let's go back to the restart. It's gonna be bunched up again. Matt Kenseth up behind me. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. Car low. Clear low. Good restart for me. That's what I needed. I'm pulling away. And Matt Kenseth has cleared the lap cars as well. So I'm still out front. And we're about to hit the halfway point here. Okay, that's the halfway mark. Yep, halfway through this race, that means I have led the most laps in this race, so I do get the 10 bonus points. 25 laps to go. I'm starting to pull away just a little bit from Matt Kenseth. Oh, oh, oh gosh, don't hit that apron. It's all right, I'm all right. Let's just get back going, which is a small mistake. Not to worry about it. Got 24 laps to go now. So you got me leading the race. Matt Kent's the second. Mark Martin third. Ryan in the fourth. And Jeff Burton rounds up the top five. I have no idea where Ricky Rudd is at. But it's good for me. I mean, if he finishes outside the top five, I'm going to have the points lead coming out of this race. Going into Phoenix. Look like I'm seeming to pull away that much like I did in the first run before that first caution came out. I pulled away pretty good at, at the initial drop of the green flag and then ever since the race I pulled away from Matt Kenseth and the rest of the field but not by much like I did in the first run. I don't know if the uh, tires are going away just a little bit on my car and the handling but they're staying right there. Mark Martin third, Ryan Newman fourth. Sterling Marlin rounds out the top five. Twenty to go. Twenty laps to go. Just think about it. If I got the win at Talladega, that could have been my third straight NASCAR Dirt to Daytona Let's Play win. This could have been fourth straight if I can hang on and win this race. I've been on a roll lately. And you know what? To be honest with you, I don't feel like I have been racing that aggressive like I did in the first half of the Let's Play. 
It seems like the second half of this Let's Play, I've been more conservative, been more cautious on the way I've been driving and all that, and I think it's paying off. Sometimes it doesn't look like you want to force the issue of making moves and all like that because that's a good way to wreck. So I feel like I've been mostly cautious and conservative in the, in the second half of the NASCAR Dirt to Daytona Let's Play, and I think it's been paying off. I guess that's what wins you a championship if you just be patient, if you just be cautious. Okay, now I'm starting to pull away again. It took a little while, but it didn't look like I pulled away that much since the restart, but now it looks like I am. Mark Martin going for the second spot on Matt Kenseth, and Ryan Newman going for the third spot now. Tell you what, who also has been tearing it up lately is Mark Martin. He just got his fifth win of the Let's Play at Talladega this past race. He's been doing a great job in this Let's Play. Obviously, he's still too far behind to win the championship, but, uh, you know, he's done a good job. Matt Kenseth has done a decent job lately as well. All right, now I'm getting around the traffic. It looks like Ryan Newman's going for the second spot on Mark Morin. He's got 15 laps to go. Still there. I really hope there's not another caution. I would like to, for this to go green all the way. Unless I don't create the caution either. <laughs> Could happen. Still there. Clear high. And lately, I haven't been creating a lot of wrecks either. I will say. I mean, I almost wrecked a couple of times at Charlotte. Don't get me wrong, but... There's Jeff Gordon. About to go lap down. He was Still involved there. in the first caution wreck. Right, I'm really getting around these guys well, and that's good. So far, so good. Drive back out and walk in the first caution. Oh god, I got in the wall there. The first time I've hit the wall. Wow, I really messed up this point too. Alright, Joseph. Don't worry about it, just a little slight touch in the wall. When did I get this front damage? I just noticed that. Sorry you guys can't see it, but like slight damage, but I don't know when I got that. Four second lead over Matt Kenseth now. And I've been driving these corners very well too. 10 laps to go here at North Carolina Speedway in Rockingham. I'm leading the way. Matt Kenseth second. I'm ahead of him by four seconds. Mark Martin third, Ryan in the fourth, and Sterling Marlin rounds up the top five. But I've been hit. Oh, look at contact there between Ken Schrader and a custom driver. Come on, guys, don't do that in front of me. All clear. Looks like Steve Park and the custom driver just made some contact there. I just been hitting these corners very well and getting around the lap traffic very well. Indeed. Still there. And great job. All clear. Eight laps to go. Still there. Clear wow, I had such a run on these guys. Oh gosh, Blue Valley. You're all clear. All clear? All clear my ass. Look around me. All clear. All clear. Yeah, there's a car beside me. In front and back. Yeah, I'm definitely all clear. All clear. Still there. Clear high. Man, I had to scratch my 
shoulder. That's why I was off the gas longer than what I should have. But I have a good enough lead to do that, so. It seems like I run the middle lane mostly in one and two, and then in three and four I run the bottom lane, unless I have to get around some traffic. Okay, I don't know why Harvey just went from the bottom to the outside just like that. You're all clear. All right, here we go. Wow. Five laps to go here at North Carolina Speedway. God, Lee. Sorry, guys. I'm just, for whatever reason, back likes to itch right now. Let's get back to racing and let's win this thing. Oh, I really messed up that game. Looks like not a lot of lap traffic to deal with. That's good. And Hermie Sadler and uh, Terry Labonte I have to get to, and then that's about it. it seems like I don't think I'm gonna catch anybody else. Still there. All clear. Three laps to go. Carlo. Clear low. All clear. Gotten around Terry Labine. That's probably the last lap car I have to pass. As right, so we're coming around, two laps to go. Two to go. You know, like I mentioned earlier, it just seemed like the first half of the Let's Play, I just did terrible. And then once the second half of the Let's Play came about, that's when I started tearing it up. And, uh, what, I was like almost 300 points behind the points leader, Ricky Rudd, at one point. Coming into this race, I was 29 points back from Ricky Rudd, running second in points, as we're on the final lap here at North Carolina Speedway. Dominating performance here at North Carolina Speedway, down the back straightaway for the final time. What a performance I have been showing lately. And then now, coming to three races left of the NASCAR Dirt Day Daytona Let's Play, I am going to grab the points lead, and I'm going to grab the win here at North Carolina Speedway, my 10th win in the NASCAR Dirt Day Daytona Let's Play. Good race for me. Good job. It was a good job. Let every lap dominate this race. And now, guys, I have the points lead with three races left of the NASCAR Dirt to Daytona Let's Play. What a comeback I've been making so far. Ricky Rudd finishes ninth. So I'm gonna gain, I've gained 47 points on him. So that means I'm gonna guess, um, let me see. I'm gonna gain, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have like what, a 27th? point lead or something 20 no i'm sorry 20 point lead or something like that i was trying to guess myself no okay i am 18 points ahead of them never mind i am the current points leader guys going for th with three races left of the nascar Dirt to daytona let's play phoenix homestead and atlanta 10th win of the nascar Dirt to daytona let's play as well Guys, I've been on a roll. I feel like I got a good shot to win this championship. I just got to perform well at Phoenix and Homestead. I know what to expect at Atlanta, but I got to perform in these final three races, and I got this championship won. But overall, what a great comeback for me so far. Uh, yeah, um, next race is going to be at Phoenix International Raceway in Avondale, Arizona for the Phoenix 500. I will see you at Phoenix.